Welcome to Ecamm from Scratch. Today, we're gonna to be connecting the Rodecaster Pro 2. To get the most out of your Rodecaster Pro 2 with Ecamm Live, there are a couple of things that we need to set up. After completing the initial setup on the RCP2, you're gonna connect the provided USB-C cable from the back of the Mac to the USB-C number one on the back of the RCP2. You can now go to your sound output and see two new options, Rodecaster Pro 2 Chat and Rodecaster Pro 2 Main. Select Main as your output. Next, you'll open up Ecamm Live. First, select Rodecaster Pro 2 Main as your primary microphone. Next, we will open up Preferences. Do this by selecting Ecamm Live Preferences or by hitting the keyboard shortcut command comma. Navigate over to the audio tab. Make sure that Rodecaster Pro 2 main is set as your speaker's output. Also check map input channels one and two to left and right stereo. Depending on your workflow, you might want to check record isolated audio tracks, especially if you're having guests join your broadcast. Having separate audio recordings for you and your guest is one of the many reasons that Ecamm Live is so awesome. If you have been having issues with the RCP2 audio like I have myself, these settings will allow you to get the most out of your Rodecaster Pro 2 using the power of Ecamm Live. My name's Lewis, also known as Mr. Camera Junkie. Talk to you.